A very special greeting to all the audience of TV Agro. We are very happy to be here with you. My name is Miguel Aparicio, I am co-founder and president of the Foundation Sanctuario Animal Namigni, located in La Calera, Cundinamarca. Just 30 minutes from Bogota and we have been in existence for almost two years. We will be in March of this year and here we are dedicated to the protection of animals with a sanctuary, which also focuses especially on the so-called species used for food purposes. Coarse cattle, sheep, goats, rabbits, pigs and others. Here we are located in a profoundly dairy region. Although we are only 30 minutes from the country's capital, here in La Calera it is a profoundly dairy area like Guasca, Sopo, Zipaquira, all the municipalities in this region, in spite of its proximity to Bogota, and for this reason the sanctuary began as a reaction to situations that arose. In these 20 years, more than 20 years of vaginismus, we had never had direct contact with animals of these species that needed help. So when the pandemic started in March 2020 and we began to develop protection and support activities for dogs and strays in the municipality, we began to realize a reality that became very evident. Of sheep, goats, calves, cows tied up on the roadsides of the villages, waiting for trucks to the slaughterhouse. And so we began to react to situations that arose. We started by rescuing a sheep that we saw for five days tied to a pole. On the fifth day we went down to ask what was his story. Because she had been crying for five days and it turns out that the truck that was going to take her to the slaughterhouse was delayed because of the pandemic. So at that moment, she was the first one we rescued of this species. Her name is Renata and she has been with us for two years now. After Renata we found a calf in similar circumstances, his name is Tambor, he is with us, then Brownie, Baltasar. And so the sanctuary began as a reaction to a situation that was already present before, with the pandemic everything looked like a desert. Absolutely no one was to be seen. The situation of these animals was very evident and the original idea was to help one another, the ones we found, but in a short time we realized that in reality what we were doing was an animal sanctuary to rescue animals, like Castor who is a very naughty goat that arrived with nine days of life. Almost two years later, we have more than 300 animals of many species and currently it is a sanctuary of very large dimensions. This farm has 85 bushels and only in cattle there are 106 cattle. So we are making a permanent effort that we have been developing for almost two years. so that in the future we will have the opportunity to help more animals of these species that need help. Of course, we also help dogs and cats, we have many in fact, but unlike other foundations that are dedicated exclusively to the protection of dogs and cats, we seek to provide that attention and consideration to animals of these other species that are very forgotten. A hen, a goat, a bull, a pig, they are normally seen as food, Normally they do not deserve much concern from people. And here the idea is that a goat, a cow, a bull, a pig, a hen, have as much importance as a dog. So we look for a way to help all those that can be helped. Obviously with the support of the community, and at the same time, give them the opportunity to be happy. Here there are no production criteria, so for example, in a dairy farm a 67-year-old cow that is no longer considered very productive, quickly ends up in the slaughterhouse, if she starts to have several health problems, she no longer produces much milk, she does not get pregnant, 
Here all the animals have the opportunity to stay alive and calm until the end of their days and until their natural death occurs, even if they are old and are not considered productive. Here there are no criteria of this type. Here the idea is that all deserve respect and protection, regardless of their body condition, their age, their characteristics. So here it is possible to see a three-month-old heifer, a two-year-old heifer, a fat and beautiful four-year-old cow, but also 14-year-old cows, 15-year-old cows, that would never be found in a dairy farm or as far as beef cattle. Here we find four-year-old, five-year-old, fat, beautiful, pretty bulls, that obviously at that age are no longer productive, the same can be said of pigs and chickens. And we are always trying to find new ways and new capacities to help more animals of these species. The sanctuary since it exists quickly began to receive requests for help to receive animals from various parts of the country. This Saturday, we received an old disabled mule from Santander Recently 13 equines rescued from mistreatment and neglect in Fusagasaga. A mule from Chaparral, Talima arrived at the sanctuary. We have received cattle from Cali and sheep from Santa Rosa de Cabal. These are examples that illustrate how this sanctuary seeks to respond to cases that occur throughout the country, which is also a challenge because being a reference sanctuary that has a good capacity to help animals and has a lot of space and has, let's say, these work criteria. This also means that there is a lot of pressure, because when a situation arises with a horse, a donkey, a cow, a sheep, a pig, this situation will probably be transmitted to us so that we try to help and resources. Are limited, space is also limited, even if there are 85 bushels, we cannot always do everything. The resources issue is a very complex challenge, so we are always looking to find a sustainable way to continue increasing our capacity to help, obviously without losing our focus on the sanctuary sustainability. So it is a permanent challenge, but we are also adding a vision of entrepreneurship. Here on this farm we have the objective of creating. In fact we are organizing an ecotourism project. To generate sustainability for the sanctuary through the experiences that can be offered to the people with respect to the connection with the animals. The idea in a country like Colombia, where there is a lot of livestock, where there is a lot of livestock production, the idea is to continue increasing the capacity to respond to cases that arise and also work with people who are engaged in these activities. To help them to get out of any type of livestock activity in which they are involved. The idea is to create in fact a network of sanctuaries in the country. This is a cold climate sanctuary, in cold land, then this is especially suitable. For cattle of cold climate breeds, this is a cold climate sanctuary, in a cold land. So it is especially indicated for cold climate cattle breeds, such as Holsteins, Normandos, and Jerseys, but of course other situations are arising in other parts of the country that will require the existence of hot climate sanctuaries, with other types of characteristics. So we are also trying to see how we can create a chain of sanctuaries that can respond to this permanent challenge of locating and protecting animals, it is a serious problem and we are taking the first steps towards the creation of a sanctuary to generate a response to this problem. And there are several projects that we are always developing with the objective of also being a solution center for the problems that affect the animals of the most forgotten species in Colombia. In this permanent challenge we always have to find two types of answers. 
One is the first is the logistical response to provide assistance to the animals that come to the sanctuary and those that report to us. And the other is always to see how we can generate sustainability for a project that is obviously taking on large proportions and will bring more demands, such as a hippo sanctuary and a sanctuary for the spectacled bear that we are also trying to develop. So let's say that in two years of history, we are looking to the future and to what is yet to be done, and the experience we have gained up to now has as its main objective to keep these animals calm, safe and happy, and to consolidate this experience in order to continue improving everything we do and to reach more parts of the country. With this we leave a message of gratitude, for the time, for the opportunity, for the company of TV Agro and Tvegro's audience, and also a message of solidarity. Each one of us can play a very important role in the way the problems that affect animals are treated. So any of us can see a chicken, a puppy, or a kitten, a cow in bad condition that needs help or that nobody wants anymore because they are old. In that case, we can all think about what we can do to help it and contact Namigni Animal Sanctuary, and if we have how to help we will do it. So with that message we leave you, a hug and many greetings and our thanks once again for the opportunity, for the company.